Jeff made himself a uniform of a blue so calming and tranquil. Grew his hair out like Jean-Luc Picard so he wouldn't remind us of Dr. Evil. His little rocket with his little cap catapulted him into the sky. The whole thing took 11 minutes. A five billion dollar carnival ride. It took the energy of a thousand homes and thousands of poor employees. Mounds of garbage, islands of trash and the complete annihilation of ecology. Oh, but for one bright moment, Bezos showed us his vision for the future of our children using technology. Amazon warehouses churning out landfall in the sky. Utopia. Just ignore the torture of poverty. Just ignore the forest burnt black. Just ignore the death of the ocean. Just ignore the lack of insects and the silence of birds. Just ignore the red tidal pollution. See, Bezos reckons all of his plebs should live in the sky and slip out a trillion babies. A trillion babies would mean a thousand Einsteins, forgetting that Einstein was created by privilege and time. Time to relax, to dream up something new. He wasn't slaving in a warehouse, you fucking noob. Jeff wants to keep the planet for himself. He will designate it light residential. Because he loves Earth, he wants all of us off it so he can live the life of a king presidential. At the press conference, in his little blue suit, his head gleaming with the emissions of ecstasy in a rare moment of humility, he acknowledged that his pursuit was a gift from all of his employees. I want to thank you for living hand to mouth, he said, as you rocked yourself to sleep at night. Your body aching from running up and down the aisles. Your kidneys painful from holding in your pee so tight. I want to thank you for looking your child in the eye and saying, there's no money for the school field trip. As their little chin wobbled from trying not to cry. Thanks for not finding me and beating out of me the shit. And I want to thank all of you aspirationals who make it their job to yell at my employees and shame them for doing a job that needs doing. Your check is in the mail. Ha! <laughs> Just kidding. Jeff stood up, his erection obvious now, to all of those sitting in the front row. I am the greatest middleman, pounding his chest with admiration that the world has ever known. I've never done a day of hard labour. Just cream the fat off of others. And if I'm being honest, all I do is lay around and ponder how to parasite more energy from the whackers. My job is great. You should do it too. Just insert yourself in everything like a prick. And then you two can jerk yourself off in a rocket that looks like your dick. And that's the story of Rocket Man. The king of the world. Currently, he took all of the money and all of the power, but none of the responsibility for the many and varied challenges we face. As we stare down the extinction of the human race, he doesn't care. He's only thinking of what colour that he'll wear on his next space lab expedition.